Hello, if you want to make coloring books for Amazon or coloring pages for Etsy, and you want to put text on a coloring page background like that, or that, uh, then I'm going to show you how to do that for free with open source software such as Inkscape. Now you're going to get the AI generated background image, this thing, uh, from somewhere. I'm showing you how to do that. Get it from Mid Journey. You have to buy a subscription for Mid Journey in order to use their images commercially. In the previous video, I showed you how to do this in Photoshop and Illustrator, but now I'm going to show you how to do it in Inkscape. Okay, so here's the prompt I'm using in Mid Journey to get backgrounds for coloring pages, and you can play around with this and change little words here and there as you wish. A printable black and white colouring page featuring a simple background pattern, clean line art, high contrast, beautiful. And then you've got the aspect ratio, which is perfect for putting into a letter-sized colouring page or a letter-sized book, 8.5 by 11 inches. And then the version of Mid Journey at the moment, I'm using 5.1, getting better results, or 5.0 in some cases. Again, it's up to you to change this as you see fit. Okay, so let's put it in. And here are the results. Now, I think possibly three of those are quite fine for me, and they'll work quite well with text over them. So I'm going to go for three of those. One, three, and four. Oh, sorry, it was one, two, and four. So it goes one, two, three, four, like that. So let's get one of them then. Well, let's use that one. Usually I would do this as a batch, but I'm just doing one to show you like this now. Then what you want to do is go to upscale.org and download the pre-software for whatever operating system you have. And of course, I've already done that. I usually do a batch upscale, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do this one. And I go digital art for the upscaling type. So we have to wait for that to upscale. And here is the upscaled image, and I've put that in my pictures folder. This is the only way you can get it to import into Inkscape. So let's open up Inkscape. New document. Document properties. And we want letter size 8.5 by 11. And let's import that image. And as I say, it'll only open images in the pictures folder. And then it's very big because the image from Upscale is nice and large. But we know it should come down in exactly the right size for this letter-sized image that we have. So that snaps completely to the size of the document. So we know it's image sized, it's letter size, and we know it's high res because it's coming from the upscaled version of the mid journey image. Don't put a mid journey image directly onto this page because it won't be big enough. And now we're going to put some text on it. Now you should do some research and find a niche for your coloring book and then research expressions for your niche. So I'm just going to do something random here. Select all that text here where it says export and let's pick a font that we like. Center the text. Something like that. Here you will see fill and stroke. We want it filled with white as it is at the moment and the stroke should be black. In the stroke style, let's increase it so you can read the text easily. You'll see this is getting a bit lost here. <laughs> so the trick is to find a font that is nice and wide like Arial Black. So with the type tool selected, you can alter the tracking here. But the last thing you want to do is export the image. And here in this export box, put it up to 300 DPI and then export. And if you look at this exported picture, you will see that it is exactly at the right size or more or less the right size and 300 DPI. So there you have it. The one thing you need to do is um, collate 50 or so of these images and then put them into one PDF 
in order to sell them on Amazon or Etsy. And I'll show you how to do that on another video. If you wish, please tell me in the comments below what you thought of this video or what else you would like me to show you how to do. My name's Rob Coven. I'll see you in another video.